May 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 It sure is that games came out this month and do you know what? Some of them were really quite good. So here's a tongue-in-cheek list detailing the ones that we at Push Square thought were the best ones of those ones that came out in that month of April what just went by. Have at the grammar! Following a falling out between the Earth's military and human colonies that have reproduced their way across space like a mouth-breathing E. coli outbreak, all-out space war has erupted, and in the midst of all the horror and burny space lasers, you play as Captain Mute Man, who is both a man and is mute. Clearly inspired by classic sci-fi like Space Trek, Galaxy Wars, Fire Flu and Max and Paddy intergalactic tax evaders, Strike Suit Zero Director's Cut allows you to experience intense space shooting inside the space cockpit of your space spacecraft. As reviewer and real-life spaceman Robert Ramsey put it in his review, conquering the final frontier will leave you with a sense of accomplishment that's currently unrivaled on the PS4. Yeah. Did you not hear? FFXIVOARR is out on PS4, and let us assure you, if you thought fiddling with your moogles whilst riding a glistening chocobo and screaming Koopo at the top of your lungs until you were hoarse was a dangerous yet oddly compelling solo adventure, just wait until you're surrounded by a few thousand people doing exactly the same thing. If you're not into that, well, who the hell are you to judge? You can go right ahead and stick your Uldar up your Lalafell. Filthy sounding video game terminology aside, the game has come along leaps and bounds since its inception a number of years ago, and if you've been looking for something to fill that aching hole in your heart, where a Final Fantasy game should be, you could certainly do a lot worse. Welcome to the future, man, machine, the future. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the curse of starting up Trials Fusion too many times. We've been waiting patiently, oh so patiently, for the excellent Trials series to pick up speed, jump, do an overly ambitious front flip, crash, reset, try to do a trick, fail again, give it one more go, and another, crash again, be turned off, be returned to after a break, and nail the landing onto PlayStation platforms. And the wait is finally over. In fact, that last sentence may serve as an accurate metaphor explaining why it took so long. Ubisoft just couldn't quite nail the cross-platform jump. Or something probably not that. Fortunately, it was absolutely worth every second with an engaging career mode and frantic multiplayer offering. Our rider's haunting screams of terror as he's launched from his handlebars and towards the finish line now take a back seat to our victory aspirations, as the chequered flag has eclipsed the importance of safety. Indeed, a battered and bruised rider is commonplace when a chance at glory appears, so we'd best all hope they don't band together to form a union. Or on our heads, it will most certainly be. Octodad is an everyday normal guy and there's nothing strange about him so let's just leave it, alright? He has a couple of kids, a loving wife and a decent job, but he harbours a terrible secret. A secret that, should it get out, would leave him childless, wifeless and jobless. That secret is that he likes attention. Yep, it's as simple as that. The guy works hard, pays his dues, he deserves to smash a few vases and knock over some chairs. Sure, it could be considered a little careless, but he's not doing it on porpoise, it's just how he is. Sometimes he'll wear a smart suit just to fish for compliments, tune a piano so he can play it, leave a really biting review on an internet retailer's website, trout a new deodorant or aftershave, keep up on current affairs to impress people. The man's never shellfish, he's never crabby, and his secret has never forced him to scale back the love he has for his children. This is the story of a perfectly normal man that's just about keeping his head above water, and you should definitely play it, if not to support him, then just for the halibut. Child of Light is probably the most beautiful thing anyone has ever done for us. From its twinkly music and lovable characters to the incredible UbiArt engine that powers its stunning visual style, it is a joy to behold from start to finish. After falling ill, Aurora awakens in a strange watercolour world and aims to locate her father by seeking help from her Firefly friend Igniculus, who can solve puzzles and locate off-screen treasure, and also a variety of different creatures that come and go from her party as the story progresses, each bringing their own unique abilities. As this is an RPG, the title features many genre staples, including a turn-based battle system and experience points. This XP can be used to unlock new skills and boost attributes, but thankfully nothing is overwhelming or complicated. 
The skill tree is very simple to follow, harking back to the likes of the PS2 Final Fantasy games, and equipment only has one or two comparable stats, meaning that players are never swamped by numbers. As our reviewer Matt put it, Child of Light has a few flaws, but these don't prevent it from being an instant classic. A lot like Braid in 2008, this will be a title that comes to represent a whole new generation of artsy affairs, and whilst its running time leans a little on the short side, its excellent battle system and outstanding art style will ensure that you enjoy every minute while it lasts. For this reason, and more, Child of Light takes our coveted Game of the Month award for April 2014. Now, my description may not have featured any silliness, but that would only harm the innocent and enchanting nature of this little gem. But what do you think? Is it as good as we've claimed, or is it complete Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.